Reds trying to avoid the sweep at the hands of the Rays and Tony Singrani sent to the hill for the home team. He already has a 2-0 lead in the top of the third until this happens. Ben Zobrist with a man aboard, a game-tying blast. Number two of the year for Zobrist in a brand new ball game at two runs apiece. But in the home half of the third, it is a man aboard for Joey Votto facing Cesar Ramos and one good two-run homer deserves another. A tie-breaking shot here for Votto. What a blast that was. Number two for Votto, and the Reds back on top, four to two. Later in the inning, it is two on and two down for Devin Mesoraco, now facing Brandon Gomes. That's in the air to deep left field, and Mesoraco will touch them all. Is he some kind of strong or what? This ball went out of here like a rocket shot into the second deck of the left field bleachers. On an 0-2 pitch, no less. Reds break it open. They lead 7-2 back to Singrani. As he faces Evan Longoria, top four. Down goes Longoria. Now top six and eight, two game. Bases loaded, two men away. But Singrani induces the pop-up off the bat of Ryan Hannigan. Joey Votto's got this one. And then in the seventh, Singrani now facing Matt Joyce. He gets underneath this one into foul ground. And there's Votto with the great sliding grab. That one worth another look for sure. Singrani, six and a third innings of two-run ball with six Ks. Now we go to the bottom of the eighth inning. It is now an 8-4 lead for Cincinnati. Bases loaded, one away for pinch hitter Chris Heisey. That ball hit hard by Heisey the other way. And a grand slam for Heisey. First career grand slam for Chris Heisey. Boy, and going the other way, too, that's got to make him feel so good. That one off Josh Lukey, and the Reds go on to cruise to the 12-4 victory, as they do indeed avoid the sweep. But both teams were given bad news with regards to their rotations. The day after picking up his first win of the year, the Rays placing Alex Cobb on the 15-day DL with a left oblique strain, while the Reds have shut down Matt Latos for the next 10 to 14 days with a flexor mass strain in his right forearm after suffering a setback during a bullpen session prior to Sunday's game.